Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is something quite interesting. We're going to be testing out on how overpowered the Endermite pet actually is and we're going to see, you know, how much money we can actually make with that. And quickly, a quick interruption guys. If you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I want to see how many of you guys subscribe on this video from actually hearing me say this because only 25% of my viewers are actually subscribed, which means over 15,000 people are not subscribed to this channel. So guys, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, and of course, drop a like in the video as well because that just helps me out a lot now let's actually get into the video today we are going to be taking a look at the endermite pet the new endermite pet comes in the epic and legendary variants and the legendary pet does have a different ability but honestly if you have an epic one it still works just as good for what we're doing today now as you see i have an endermite pet level three let me go over what the epic perks are so you get more stonks which makes you gain more exp orbs when you break endstone and it has a 1.5% chance to drop an extra block dropped. Now, of course, these chances increase depending on what level it is, blah, blah, blah. And then the next perk, which is what we're going to be looking at today, is actually called Pearl Muncher. Upon picking up an Ender Pearl, you consume it and you gain 5.2 coins. Now, if you think about this a little bit, that could be pretty overpowered. I mean, if you have looting on a sword and you're killing an enderman and it drops like three or four pearls then you could get about 20 coins per enderman on top of you having scavenger and let's say a raider's axe so that's what we're going to be testing out we are going to see how many coins you can actually get for killing an enderman with the endermite pet now as i did say we only have a level three endermite pet and if you guys did not know pets v2 update came out that's why there are a bunch of new pets and there's a lot of new videos explaining and showing off all these pets so i was like you know what let's join in and start making some videos on it but if you didn't know, that is why there's a lot of new pets, because Pets V2, um, you know, it, it happened. I mean, we have Pets V2 now. And along with that update, we actually got ourselves a new item called Candy. You can get Great Carrot Candy. There's, I think there's a, yeah, Simple Carrot Candy, and then Super B Carrot Candy. Now, I'm going to be actually getting ourselves Great Carrot Candy, because it's like in the middle. It's not too expensive, but it's all right. I mean, it's definitely worth going for. So this is how we're actually going to level up our pet by giving it candy which gives it xp so we're actually going to be buying 10 great carrot candy and the reason we're only buying 10 is because there's actually a limit on how much candy you can give to a pet this is just to prevent like basically spending coins to max out a pet instantly so basically what we're going to be doing is buying those 10 candy and as i said there's a limit on it so we only can add 10 candy total so what i have to do is buy 3200 enchanted carrots and then 10 regular carrots so i guess we can just buy the 10 regular carrots just like that and then we have to buy 3200 enchanted carrots but we only can buy up to 1800 at a time so we'll just do 1600 and then buy that and then we have to actually store it because our inventory is basically full 1600 and there we go now we've spent about i think almost four mil i think it was about 3.2 mil maybe 3.4 mil on all of that enchanted carrots but now we have to actually craft it into the great carrot candy so let's go ahead and start crafting those and well i'm an idiot apparently you need to have a simple carrot candy i thought that was just one regular carrot which means we have to make simple carrot candy now which means i have to store all that and to actually make simple carrot candy i think it's just nine stacks of regular carrots so let me quickly check the recipe and simple and yeah it's just nine stacks of regular enchanted carrots let's go ahead and make 10 of these and there we go we have 10 simple carrot candy so let me quickly sell that and then we'll pull the rest out right here and now all we have to do is finally craft it all up we can just spam it like actually i can just do quick crafting and i can just yeah that's a lot easier so we craft it just like that there's five we have to pull out more of the enchanted carrots and then we will be able to craft the rest of them and six seven eight nine and ten there we go we have 10 great carrot candy it gives you 500k xp per which means we will be giving our endermite 500,000 xp so there's also a new thing that was added to pets and there's like accessories for pets so let me show you what this is basically if you talk to zog there's a bunch of different like i guess buffs you can give to pets and i guess i think we're going to give it a mining exp boost because it is a minor pet and it should give us more xp i'm not too sure on how this works i'm not like 100 percent correct on it as i'm still getting familiar with how everything works but if we click on the endermite like that and then there we go i think it added it and as you see we now have a held item that is a mining exp boost which gives you 40 percent more pet exp so when we actually feed it the candy it should be getting a little bit more xp and we'll just click on it like that and there we go level 28 from that level 35 level 39 level 42 level 44 level 46 48 49 
51 and 52 we got this all the way up to level 52 and we spent about three mil so it's not horrible i guess it's all right but yeah level 52 it should increase our chances a lot so as you see the gain more exp orbs or getting a double chance is actually increased by 26 percent now and you actually get 8.6 coins while you pick up the ender pearls now which is very good but yeah as you see it says 10 out of 10 pet candy used which means we can no longer use any more pet candy towards it so now I've made my way to the end, and we're going to kill an Enderman, and yeah, so let's kill the Enderman right there. And as you see, we don't actually get any Ender Pearls because it consumes it, and it turns it into the coins. So, as you see, we got plus 10 from that. I mean, I'm not too sure or how accurate it really is, but sometimes we get more coins. But at this point in time, I think we're getting about 30 coins per kill. It's like 15 to 30 coins, which is pretty good. I mean, if we definitely add, like, Scavenger, get a Raider's Axe, we'll be getting a lot more coins. So let's get a little bit more accurate with it. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a Raider's Axe and then test out how many coins we get with the Raider's Man, I really hate doing this quest every single time. I wish they could make it, like, a one-time thing. But we have to put the Magical Water Bucket there, turn the furnaces on, and then switch this to the Fish Chat, and then basically just shift like this. And, and hopefully Sticky Keys doesn't enable, but you just keep shifting and crouching and crouching until you can finally access the shop and sh in crouching and more crouching and more crouching and more crouching and there we go finally we can now access the shop and let's buy ourselves a raider axe and yeah there we go we don't have obviously max kills as this is brand new but uh, let's head back to the end and do some testing and how many coins we get all right so when we're using the aspect of the end we were getting about 15 to 30 coins per kill, but now the Raider Axe actually gives you plus 20 coins from monster kills, so we should be getting a decent amount more from it. So let's go ahead and kill the guy, and we got ourselves 55 coins from that. Once again, it's about another 40 to 50 we're getting from killing these, which is honestly really good. Pretty much averaging about 50 per kill, and yeah, I mean, that's really good. Now, we don't even have scavenger or looting yet, so let's add those to the Raider Axe, and basically, it should make us get a lot more coins per kill. Oh, and luckily, I have myself a scavenger 4 buck, and then a looting 4 buck right in my chest. So let's go ahead and add them to the Raider Axe. All right, so let's add the scavenger four and then the looting four. Now we should be getting the maximum amount of drops. And then actually we get 1.2 coins per monster level kill, which means since the endermen are level 42, we should be getting about 45 extra coins. So let's go ahead and test it out. And we hit it and we got, I think like a hundred. Okay, let me actually deposit everything and then we'll get a better test. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead, hit him and boom. 100 coins from that. You can get a lot of coins, especially with an Endermite pet. As you see, we killed about mm, 9, 10 Endermen, and we already have 1,000 coins. And this works on all Endermen. So, I mean, it's not going to be hard to kill a lot of Endermen, as there's not very much competition up top. And another thing is, our Endermite is only level 52, which means we only get about 9 coins per kill. But if we had a level 100, we would be getting a... B oh, an Endstone Protector is funny. Okay, let's actually head to that. Um, I've actually only fought in a couple of these before, and it's already over. Ow, that was very loud. Okay, but let's see. Uh, did we get anything good? Um... We legitimately got no drops. Okay, that was a waste of time. But as I was saying, I only have a level 52 Endermite pet. Basically, if we had a level 100, we'd be getting 12 coins per kill. So if you do manage to get yourself on, like, on, let's say, a level 100 Enderman pet, you'd be just, of course, even getting more coins. But overall, I think that this pet is actually pretty overpowered, and I really hope it doesn't get nerfed at all because people should be taking advantage of this. And if you're smart with your time, you could be making a lot of coins from this. So what I do want to do is do a quick test on killing Enderman for 10 minutes and we'll see how many coins we do get But yeah, it's roughly been about 10 minutes, and as you see, we have about 35,000 coins, which is just really good. And a few things that I kind of discovered while, you know, farming these Endermen is that the lower you go in the end, the higher the level the Endermen are, which means you get more coins from killing, you know, different levels, because the higher the level, 
the more coins you get because of the scavenger perk um also by the way i picked up these ender pearls from the ground like i they don't actually get consumed in the inventory as you see if i kill this guy right here i mean they get automatically turned into coins which is you know extremely good now that I think about it because your inventory won't be super clogged anyways though thank you guys for watching today's video and actually i need to plug this Guys, go follow my Twitter. If you have Twitter, go in the description, go to the pinned comment, and follow my Twitter. I have like 50 Twitter followers, and it's pathetic. We need more followers on Twitter, so please go ahead and follow my Twitter. I mean, we have 50. We can at least hit 100 by like this upload. I mean, hopefully during this upload, I'm, I'm, I'm really just trying to get at least 1,000 Twitter followers so I don't get roasted because Lego Maestro was kind of roasting me. Oh, and if you want to join my new fan Discord, please go in the description and join that as well. I mean, it's really recommended. You can know when I live stream and know when I upload videos because youtube sometimes doesn't send notifications out so that's why you want to join that discord but anyways thank you guys for watching and, and i will catch you guys later